a reading of the New Testament. That would be the uh, King James Version translated uh, by the Gullah people into the Gullah Bible. This is the Gullah Bible. Now, usually, I've been, as usual, if you haven't been with me before, I uh, I just skip around, just take the thing and get around. Now, I've been, I haven't done really early, early. I mean, I did Matthew, whatever. Is Matthew the first one in here? Oh, I guess Matthew's the first one in here. I don't see nothing else. Matthew 5, whatever it is. Good news about Jesus Christ, right? It's Matthew. Okay. So we have Matthew first. Well, if Matthew's first, then... No, I won't do it that way. Why am I doing that? I'm sorry. I suppose that let me just... I'm not supposed to be looking at it. I just pick it out, you know? Okay, so we go into Matthew 2. Uh... 2.12, why not? Oh. Gotta, gotta use the greeting glasses, why? Because, uh, see the, uh, I said 2.12, see the, the Gullah is uh, in the bigger letters, but the uh, English translation is in smaller letters, which is a, a challenge to us older folk who need glasses to read. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, okay. So here we go. Uh, again, some tip people are new. What I do is I read through the Gullah. I haven't read it before. I'm, this whole exercise is to for me to, um, how you say, uh, understand like a mentality a, a of like when the slaves were freed, when the well the, the victors of uh, the North American chattel slavery was freed, uh, then you know they they do nothing. <laughs> they were allowed to read and anything like that. And so the only reading material usually they had around, everybody had, was the Bible. Because back then, a lot of people were illiterate, not just slaves. Um, and so they used the Bible to, well, to, to educate themselves. And so I want to just put myself in the mentality, like not knowing a language. So the, the, the Gullah language, the Gullah, like what language, is, uh, well, in my maternal side, I have Gullah, you know, like my great, Great great grandfather was Gullah, and you know his wife was, was Mohawk. And anyway, so I just felt I should go through this experiment. So I've been going through it. I don't know if I'm getting better. We'll find out in a few months. I guess. <laughs> hey, some of us take a long time to learn, but once we learn it, we're good. Okay, so this is page five of the the New Testament from the Gullah people, and this is uh, Matthew two twelve. Now then, the Lord come to them man in a dream. And when um tell him, say, must John go back for tell King Harold nothing? So they go on not a way back to when they come from. Okay, the translation is thus. And being warned by of God in the in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed into their own country another way. Oh, okay. I sort of like this Matthew uh, Matthew two twelve. Now then, the Lord come to them men in a dream, and when the and warn and warn them, tell them say, must done. Must Don go back to tell King Harry nothing? So they gone not not a way back to when they come from. Translation. And being warned of God in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed into their own country another way. That's the reading. By me, T, from the Pattersons, taking the trench to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect. <laughs>